Alright guys, welcome back to day two of application practice. Uh, we are solving uh, some more word problems. And uh, as you guys can see, I only have two for you today. No back to this. I just got two questions. Hopefully yesterday went okay. If not, hopefully after going over these you'll have a better understanding. And if not, then you can reach out to me. We might be able to Zoom, uh, maybe chat through email, however you would like to work through this. But again, like I had said yesterday, a lot of these uh, word problems can be solved a lot of different ways. And you guys will certainly see that today with some of the questions I'm gonna give you. You'll be able to determine uh, that you might be able to solve these a little bit quicker than uh, making an equation or defining a variable, things like that. But remember, the reason I did that yesterday, the reason I'm going to do it again today is to get you in that habit because when we get to Unit 5 next week and Unit 6 shortly after, when we get to application problems there, they are going to be having two variables and a little bit more difficult. So Let's get started. Number one says, Jose is saving up to buy a digital camera that costs $490. So he needs $490. So far, he has $175. So he's on his way. He would like to buy the camera in three weeks from now. This is a typical question for uh, someone who has to buy their own stuff. Their mom and dad doesn't buy them everything. Um, they have like an allowance, maybe he saved that up from doing chores, maybe they have a high school job, uh, and this is something he wants to get. Maybe not a digital camera, this could be old and outdated, maybe it's like an iPhone, Xbox, I don't know. Um, but he wants to buy it in three weeks from now, he doesn't want to wait any longer, it's been a long time, he wants to buy this. So, how much must he save every week? to have enough money to purchase the camera. This way, if he knows, okay, I need $100 a week. Well, if I need to do $100 a week, he knows in his job he makes uh, 85, then he might realize I need to work overtime one of those days, or maybe I'll pick up an extra shift or something like that, so he can figure more out. Um, if I wanna know how much he'll save every week, though, I know how many weeks it is, I know how much I have now, I know how much I'm going to need. I'm gonna let X equal how much money saved each week. That's what we're trying to find out. That's where you get your variable from. Usually this last sentence here, how much must he save every week? That's what we're trying to find out. Money he needs to save every week. So he needs to get $490. That's his goal. He has 175. And he will make X amount every week, which specifically will be three weeks from now. Okay, So say he makes $50 a week. 50 times 3 would give him his $150. Then you would add that to what he has. It's not enough, and so that's what we're trying to find out. So... Again, like I had said yesterday, you get to this point and you're pretty much smooth sailing. This, that was the hardest part, setting it up. Now you're good to go. Subtract the 175. Uh, 315 equals 3x divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 300 100 times. 3 goes into 15 5 times. So if we would say that x equals 105, which means Jose should save $105 every week. So what that also means is maybe he makes a lot of money. Maybe Jose makes $200 every week. And so he just knows I need to save 105. So he can spend 95. Maybe he has to buy gas one week. Uh, maybe he wants to buy something else. Uh, but he just needs to make sure he keeps $105 and then he'll be able to buy what he wants. All right. Last question. It says, 76ers played the Wizards Tuesday night in a game that had a total of 194 points. The Wizards scored eight less than the Sixers. How many did each team score? 
this is actually pretty similar to the last question we had done, or not the last question, the first question we had done yesterday. Um, we have two teams. We know the 76ers plus the Wizards would give you the total points scored. There are only two teams that played, so together they would give you the total amount of points scored. Yeah, um, you know something about the Wizards. They scored eight points less than the Sixers. So you don't know anything about the Sixers, so let's let X equal points scored by the 76ers. So what I can do now then is X is the 76ers plus the Wizards, which were eight less than the 76ers. So you got to be really careful. I need to be eight less than that. If I do eight minus X, you'll run into a big issue there. So you need to follow the correct order here. The Wizards scored eight less than the 76ers. So we have to have the 76ers to be less than them equals our total of 194. Again, now we're at the easy part. I'm gonna add the eight to the other side in the same step, divide by the two, x equals 101, which means the Sixers, 76ers, one, 101, two. Well, if they scored eight less, eight less than 101 is 93. 101 plus 93 does give me 194, so the Sixers won 101 to 93. All right, thanks for tuning in. Remember, this week your submitted assignment is on Thursday because we have just finished. You're going to practice a little bit more today. Tomorrow you are going to review because we are done with our very first virtual unit, unit four, completely finished. You will review tomorrow, and then you will take a sample of what the test would have been if we were still in school and you were having your test Thursday. So again, still same participation points. If you absolutely bombed the test, um, you still did it. So you're gonna get points for it, but I would encourage you to study and kind of treat it like a test, see how you do. It's obviously not going to be as long, it's shortened. Um, and just kind of see how you do and then listen in for my voiceover that will be coming next week first full week of may and you'll see how you did all right thanks for tuning in